Now, we looked at this in the last section and how the, the launching into space is changing and how the cost in particular of getting things into space is changing. Yes, yeah, so the space industry is changing drastically yeah. for two reasons. So one is this yeah. the price. And that's going to mean, it used to be, as we said earlier, that you only do things for space that absolutely had to be done in space that's right. because it was so expensive. It, it made no sense to do it in space when it was much cheaper to do it in the ground. But that is changing a lot of industries. So there are many sorts of things that you said, well, yeah, we could do it from the ground or do it from space. Um, and we do it from the ground if it's all possible. But because the price of space is going down, yeah. that's changing. That's so a right. lot of things that wouldn't be feasible from space are now becoming because of this big drop in the price. But there, and you see the drastic increase in yep. launches that the uh, Europeans have lost it to the uh, to this, SpaceX. And this number again in 2022 is going that way. And this is going to be a large part of yes. why the space economy is growing so fast. That's right. So, yeah, think, could I do this from space? There are many things that people did that thought of 10, 20 years ago and said, no, don't do it from space. And now, oh, actually, it's possible. Yeah, exactly. Um, but even before that, I mean, that started taking off around you know, 2019, 2020. Yep. But here we're looking only up to about 2016. But we see that this is not the number of launches, this is the number of payloads yes, launched exactly. into space. And what you can see is this is separated by the size of the spacecraft. So the light blue is spacecraft that are more than a ton, more so than a thousand kilograms. The, the really big ones. Then the blue is the hundred kilogram to a thousand, and then it's the small ones. And what you can see is for a long time it was fairly stable yep. and sort of dominated by the, mostly these heavy ones. Yes. And that was electronics in the 70s were a lot bigger and heavier than they are today. And then it dropped down a bit and now it's shot up. And it's mostly these very small ones, the things under 10 kilograms. That's right. Um, so instead of having a spacecraft like this one, yep. this is, I think, the heaviest. This is the European Space Agency NVSAT 2. Which, and again, we do send those up. There's just not nearly that many of them. Um, as opposed to this is a SpaceX Starlink, and there are 60. Well, yeah, that's right. Each one, one of these is a satellite that is being attached. And so the idea is that launching constellations with hundreds or even thousands of small spacecraft all at once. And the reason for this is basically uh, smartphones. I mean, yeah. here is a, a small satellite being uh, um, tested up at Mount Stromlo Observatory. Much less than 10 kilograms, I think about 2 kilograms or 4. But because of the technology that's yeah. in smartphones and basically microelectronics, it's now possible to do things with much smaller spacecraft. Because this may have been 100 kilograms back in the 70s, but that same purpose is now a fraction of the weight. Some things can't be done with yeah. small things, like giant space telescopes, for example. But there are a lot of things, for example, remote sensing, observing yes. the Earth, or a lot of communications. It's now, because of the improvement in technology, you can do it with much smaller spacecraft. That's right. And because the launch is now cheaper per kilogram and the kilogram per satellite is much cheaper, it is a scale, it's a fraction of the cost of what it used to be. So it's a double whammy. We've got yeah. two things. First of all, the cost of going to space has come drastically down. It's going to go further down. And secondly, you don't need to launch as much. Yeah. So the cost of getting a particular functionality in space, yes. if you can do it with a small satellite, is absolutely plummeted. And that's, that's right. why the space industry is expected to boom so dramatically over the next few years. That's right.